What's going on guys? Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video and we got this big dog in front of us right here and you're like, Chris, what in the world is that? We're going to get right on into it. We're going to be testing it out, putting it through the specs and all that fun stuff and hopefully this video, by the time you're done with it, we're not going to try to make it too terribly long, but by the time you're done with it, this will answer questions and give you kind of a little bit of a layout on what it does and how it works. Anyway, we are in an upstairs unit, so we do have a stairway, so we will be needing to test that as well, to make sure it doesn't fall down any stairs and all that fun stuff. And I believe you pronounce it Halir or Hyler. I'm sorry if I botched the name of that, H-A-I-E-R. And of course, guys, this is the robotic vacuum, and I ordered it in the gold color. Absolutely spot on, fantastic. Let me run a couple specs by you guys real quickly here. The diameter is 340 millimeters. Gross weight is 4.8 kg. Net weight is 3.0 kg. Voltage, 14.8 volt. And the battery is a lithium ion battery. You have four cleaning modes, border cleaning, random cleaning, spot cleaning, schedule cleaning. Charging time is about 200 to 300 minutes. Cleaning time is about 100 minutes. So we'll get into some more specs here in just a second. Let's go ahead and open on this box on up and let's get this guy on out of here. All right, guys, it does come with this nice box here. Let's go ahead and cut through the safety seal, meaning that it has been inspected and passes the test here. And let's go ahead and open it on up and show you guys all the accessories and of course, examples. I'm gonna have to stand up for this one, guys. Right off the top here, we have a nice instruction manual here that is nicely sealed there. We're just gonna start putting some stuff off to the side here. We have our remote control. Let's see here quickly if there's any batteries in it. It's gonna take two AAA batteries in the back of that remote control. We're not sure if they have batteries in here or not yet. As you remove the first piece of styrofoam, you're gonna have the mop. Very cool, the mop is right on top. One side is white, one side is blue. Stick that out of the way real quickly. We're gonna to get to the robotic vacuum in just a second, but let me pull out some of these things first. I'm gonna save you guys the squeak of the styrofoam. First up is gonna be a virtual wall. Looks like a little barricade here. And again, read the instruction manuals, and that does take some ginormous batteries there. Uh, looks like probably, I forgot the size of those batteries. Instruction manual, we'll find out in just a second here. On this side, we got a nice little charging cable, probably for our charging port. Let's go ahead and lift out the vacuum now because we need to get out the charging port as well. Underneath the vacuum, we have a nice little brush to get in there and clean it. A little pokey on end on that side. We got another little brush here, and then we have another little brush here as well, a little sweeper. And then, of course, we have the robotic vacuum right here. So we do have already a mop on this side that's already attached to it. Of course our wheels, our little sweepers there, our front wheel that goes around right here, and all that fun stuff. Don't you worry about that. We'll get some close up shots and take it for a little test spin right here. We do have our on and up button right here, or if you don't wanna use the very nice. Hello, master. Glad to be at your service. Some sweet LED lights right up there. We do have the plastic if you want to leave that on for protection. That's up to you or not. And we do, let's go ahead and crank that off, but we do have a charging port right here if you wanted to charge it directly without using the automatic charge. Here is the docking station right here. Very cool. You just put that up against the back of a wall and it docks itself there. And guys, lastly, over here in the corner, we do have another filter they give you. That's absolutely spot on fantastic for when you do need to switch out the filter here. Let me go ahead and set this down briefly. Let's just take a little look, see underneath the box. That is it for all the products there. So here, guys, what you do with the automatic charging, you go ahead and plug that into the wall, of course, and then you use your plug here to plug that in the side. And then you go ahead and just set it up like right over here against my railing system. I have a plug right there, so we would just set it up there. You probably want to decent area so the robotic vacuum can sense it and kind of move around a little bit. I have tested some other robotic vacuums before already, so I'm a little familiar with the features and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and set this up. We'll go ahead and fully charge this. If we need to, we're gonna go ahead and read the instruction manual completely before we do get started and before we do, if we do have to charge it or not, or if we could just get straight into. But overall, we do have some nice little instruction manuals, caretakes, user specifications, warranty card, etc. Very nice, guys. And of course, if you you do not want to use the mop it is velcro go ahead and just pull that mop on up and once that gets really nasty you could just go ahead and switch over 
to your other one that they give you right there. Well guys, so far so good. The thinness of it is absolutely spot on fantastic for the bottom of my kitchen shelves here. Look at how it just gets right underneath the dishwasher right here. That's absolutely fantastic, guys. I did review a different one that was a little bit thicker and it wouldn't get underneath there, so this is great. Let's see how it handles carpet like that. It's This is carpet is not like actual carpet. So with objects like this, you will need to be a little bit careful. I mean, regular vacuums wouldn't even be able to do this. It does have automatic shut off, which is great. And again, when you have carpets like this, you do want to watch out. Go ahead and remove those, fold those up, and go ahead and just place those somewhere else while it is cleaning. Because again, this is just thin Ikea type of a little mat here. Now, if it was really heavy, really thick, it probably could do it just fine, but it will try to suck up the little thinness of that. So let's go ahead and remove this. We are off the ground. Okay, so it even talks to you. It says, hey, we need your help. So, what we're gonna do here is it's probably, probably sucked it up there, so. There we go, we, we removed it off there. And then let's go ahead and hit clean one more time there. All right, so we put it back in order here. The wrench is off, we hit clean one time. The wrench little button came off. Let's go ahead and hit that one more time. And let's go ahead and roll this guy up here. We'll get that out of the way. But let's see how it handles the water jug here, or even my foot. Very nice. I'm talking a very small, very subtle bump. Not much at all, but I am curious to see if it tries to knock over like a camera tripod or something like that. As we can see it coming over here to the trash can. I'm getting all crazy over here, I love it. I love it, guys. Let's go ahead and watch her work here. And with robotic vacuums, you definitely want to name your robot vacuum as well. So I'm going to name her Goldilocks because she's gold. And she has like the little sweeper things are kind of like locks. So her name's going to be Goldilocks and she's going to be my assistant. Let's go ahead and move this over here real quick before she does get stuck again. But spot on fantastic. We'll let her run for about maybe 30 minutes or so. I got this thing going for me here. It didn't even fall down the stairs. Going in between my tripod. So when it's charging, you see little lines here. The battery, I actually wore the battery out completely. I plugged it in and it starts with one bar. Then it goes to two bars. Now it's at three bars. After four bars, it's probably fully charged, but it might stay solid, not exactly sure. Then you're back up and running. And when it's full, it says full right on the little display there. That's absolutely fantastic. Let's go ahead and give it another clean. <laughs> I do love how it hugs the edges right here. It goes right underneath there. That I do like that a little bit better than another one I have reviewed. It's a little bit lower, so it's able to get underneath my kitchen area. The other one was a little bit taller and it got stuck under those areas. Now sometimes it does have problems underneath the refrigerator, let's say, but it does have a nice little where it kind of backs itself out. Now if it does get stuck, which most likely it will right now, it will turn off, but sometimes, oh, very nice. It was able to get out all by itself. Very, very nice. Now I know some people say that it's a little bit loud, but honestly, I think it's actually very quiet. It doesn't make very much noise. I mean, it does make noise, obviously, as you can hear it, but this makes a lot less noise than a normal vacuum. Here it is, 918 at night, and I'm not worried about any of my neighbors hearing this thing because it literally sounds like, you know, maybe like a fan running, you know, in the background. It would be an audible noise, like white noise in the background. I don't think it's very loud at all. Let's go ahead and see if it can do it double time on the refrigerator again, as it's literally underneath there. That's very nice. So that broom is actually getting underneath the fridge sweeping it into the robot. That's absolutely fantastic, guys. Okay, comes out again, very nice. I have noticed that it works a lot better on a high charge. Maybe it just has more power to be able to move it around. But again, the other one I reviewed was higher. It got stuck underneath that. 
this model is definitely better as it can just work its way around. That's absolutely spot on fantastic, guys. And remember when you do have your remote control, you can go ahead and stop it if you want. So we'll go ahead and cut it right now. Let's go ahead and move it over to the uh, floor where it goes into carpet as well. I wanna show you guys the uh, transition. All right guys, so we're here in the hallway and sorry, the light is coming on so it's a little bit darker but we're gonna transition into the carpet area. I'm gonna go ahead and hit power once again and it's gonna fire up there and then we'll go ahead and you can have your different little uh, plan buttons. So you can do circle, sideways, all that fun stuff. Let's go ahead and just hit the, uh, the one right here in the middle. We'll go ahead and get that one and it's gonna transition straight into the carpet, which is absolutely fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and keep our eye on the carpet one because again, the carpet is a little bit different than the floor. Again, you don't want crazy things, you know, laying in its path or anything like that. I wanna make sure that it's not gonna get caught on anything. I did have a couple issues with the first time I was using it right out of the box. It did not have a full battery, but it got caught on the door a couple times to see as it's trying to come outside of it. We'll keep our eye on it here, see if it transitions into this one. I'm not sure why it didn't stay in that one. Maybe it's the mode that I'm on. I'm still getting used to it, but we'll go ahead and take a little look here as it heads over. Oh, nope, backs up a little bit more. We'll keep our eye on it, and we'll take a little look-see as it should be transitioning here in a second. There we go, we're up. Okay, oh, I don't think it likes that one. Let's see what it does here. See right here, sometimes, this happened to me the first time I used it. It might back itself out, let's see what happens, but it's kind of caught, one of the wheels looks like it's caught right on that little, oh, there it goes, fix itself. And now it's back in the game, I like that guys. Don't have to touch it, let it just run its course. Well, hopefully it comes back to the bedrooms and cleans those carpets. <laughs> we'll see. Your homes with a large open space of wood is absolutely spot on fantastic. See here it is guys. It's running the course down and then coming back in a straight line. So you have your different modes. Just read the instruction manual, do what one is easier for your house. And then when you're ready, attach that mop to the back of it and it'll go ahead and mop up behind it as well. Put a little distilled water in that back and you're good to go. Let's go ahead and cut it and let's see what it's picked up. Now we just cleaned recently, so let's uh, see what we got in here. This is the little contraption, so you just lift up the uh, trunk there. We'll go ahead and lift out our little dustpan here. There is our filter there. Let's see what we got in here. We got some nice little goodies again. Again, we just cleaned yesterday, so we already have all that in there is some nice dust and hair that it picked up probably under the refrigerator underneath the couches the uh, little mops have swept up that's spot on fantastic filter goes back that way right there go ahead and shut up that trap door fire it back up and get it going guys overall a solid device and i'm very uh, very happy about it again i did experience a couple times it did flap up against the side of the uh, the door here but again that was because it i literally took it right out of the box and it seems to be doing a lot better on a full charge so you might want it it just probably has extra power that's able to uh, boost and uh, get itself unstuck in certain situations. All right, guys, let's test what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try the home button as it returns back to its loading dock all by itself. Now, remember, this is pretty light. It will knock it over. You will need to use the double sticky tape on there, so plant it where you find appropriately. I haven't found that quite that place yet in my house, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold it down with my foot and let it run its course here. So we're gonna go ahead and number one, power it on with the remote control. You can do that, you know, vice versa. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit the home button and let's go ahead and have it dock right over here. You do want a little bit of space so that it can dock and as it's trying to find its way back home. And then again, making sure it's flat on the ground and it should lock right on. There we go right there. Let's see what happens. Oh, didn't like that one. Maybe because my foot was on it. Maybe not, I'm not sure why. Let's go ahead and watch it again. Let me try my foot behind it here, see if that Messed up the sensor. There we go. It must have, my foot must have been on the sensor there, so I moved it to the back instead of on the top. Again, use your double sticky tape, and now it's charging, ladies and gentlemen. 
spot on fantastic. But again, guys, look in the description box below this video and you're gonna find a link to this where you can read more about it, check out what other people are thinking about it, etc. Comes in different colors, but overall, guys, spot on fantastic and it's very budget friendly as well for a robotic vacuum, especially this day and age with some of the prices these days. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next review. And make sure you're subscribed so you're always up to date the next things I'm reviewing. Take care, guys. Thank you.